Welcome back to SA Live. Well, joining us once again is Chef Cesar Zapala. But this time we are looking at his new dinner menu at Sangria at the Berg. Okay, so we've been talking and talking about this skirt sure. steak. Tell us what makes it amazing. Okay, it's from Heartbrand Beef, which is a local beef company, Zaka Ushi. Uh, just the, first of all, it's tender. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, you barely have to cut it. And then just the flavor is awesome. And I have yet to find something close to it. Okay. And you grilled this. We're just kind of heating up here in the pan right now. So, so we have a wood grill at the restaurant, so we wood grilled it. Now we're just warming it up okay. uh, and getting some peppers and onions. I really warm love it. Perfect. Okay. okay. Bring it over. We'll slice yeah. that up. Okay. We have an official oil. slicer right next to me, so that's nice. There we go. Yes. Um, little peppers and onions, I think just goes really well with a, a beef fajita taco. And, um, there's a little seasoning right here if you want to season okay. that up. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And the peppers. And you said your daughter tried this, and now it's like, Daddy, I'm not eating anything nothing's, else. Just nothing's, a... nothing's really good enough now. Okay. Like, if I don't bring this home, she's not, uh, Try it. She's yeah. not happy. <laughs> How is it? Mm. Oh, my gosh. So is there a, any tips for cooking, like, a skirt steak? Um, we cook it on the wood grill. Um, the way, you know, honestly, beef is great with salt and pepper. If you have a little family marinade, then use that. And you want to cook it to about medium, you know? And then these are hand pressed corn tortillas. If you want to warm them up, you can. Okay. The, it, it's, the meat has a very rich yeah. flavor awesome. to it. Awesome. Really, I mean, it, really good. It's not, that's. Yeah, what first stood out. Let me try a little bit. Okay. Right <laughs> wait, wait, I'm trying to build oh, yeah. this. <laughs> mm. Okay. There we go. It's so I, good. I, I see why here. your daughter won't eat anything yeah. mm -hmm. else. Mm. It is She's so a little spoiled. Okay. A little bougie. So <laughs> this is this is new on the uh, the menu. Should I put some uh, peppers on there? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's new on the menu. What else do you got on the menu over there? Uh, we're gonna do a, a uh, fajita burger as well. So we're gonna whatever we don't use on this, we're gonna grind up and do a uh, fun oh, little right. play on a burger, a fajita burger. So oh, really, oh, that um, sounds good. Yeah, we're excited about it. Come out in about a month, so we're mm -hmm. adding that to our dinner menu. Since COVID, we, we, we went down to one menu all day, but I think it's time to give some of those uh, those things that people really love back to them. And like we are talking about, the Alamo Biscuit Company mm -hmm. is great for brunch and breakfast, mm -hmm. and this is lunch and dinner, right? Got it. Okay, there you go. Mm. Wanna try that? Thank you, my okay. dear. So yeah. it'll come with cheese and guacamole and a couple of salsas. It's gonna be a platter for two, so you get a nice kind of a plate like that with all kinds of goodies. Um, and like I said, it'll be on their next dinner menu. Okay, so where can folks find you if they want to try this? Hmm. Good stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was making oh, yummy yeah. sounds. We're 5115 Fredericksburg oh. Road, uh, medical center area. Obviously, uh, I like working out there. Mm -hmm. And um, man, a it's a small restaurant, so reservations are pretty important. Okay, you know, the nice thing about this too is with just the, the flavor of the meat, and a little bit of seasoning in there mm -hmm. and the freshness of the vegetables and everything, which is really, really tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good stuff. So. <laughs> okay, I see why it went over yeah. really well. Mm -hmm. All right, and you've got other restaurants, right? Which we talked about earlier, yes. but um, folks. Alamo Biscuit listening. as well. So, you know, both of them are very, you know, come as you are restaurants. We want to be, have fun, have some new stuff on the, on the menu. And our menu's changing constantly. You know, COVID kind of did a fun thing for us. We got really creative. And it's, uh, it's, it's fun to, to be in that element now. Now, what about takeout? All the time. Takeout, okay. we also do Grubhub and DoorDash as well. So, mm -hmm. um, if you don't want to drive, you don't have to. Can mm -hmm. people buy this at the store? You know, I don't know, but okay. I haven't found it. Okay. Forget about buying it at the store, just go to the restaurant right. and get it there. So. I hunt down my guy Ty and he brings me some. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's really good stuff. So. <laughs> okay. okay, great stuff, of course, from Chef Cesar Zabeda. Thank you so much for Sangria on the Bird. Absolutely. If you want more information on that and all they have there, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And of course, don't forget about the uh, mm -hmm. Alamo Biscuit mm -hmm. Company.